Dave Mosher here, producer for Discovery Space at space.discovery.com. That is the Discovery Channel's website all about space, and this is your weekly wrap-up and preview for the site, as usual. You guys, I have a ton of news for you. American Astronomical Society had a big meeting in California, tons and tons of really great news. And I promise at the very end of this update, you will see a new concept for a space toilet. So make sure you work all the way through. First thing I have for you that came out of that meeting is this, the Milky Way. You may know it because you live in it. It's faster and fatter than scientists thought were, uh, ever before. It's actually 50% heavier than we, we previously expected. And it's also going 75,000 miles an hour faster in its orbit. So, you know, if you look at it like this, it's going uh, 50, 75,000 miles an hour faster. That's a really big jump because we thought it was going 500,000 miles an hour in an orbit like this. And what this means is we have a nearby galaxy called Andromeda. It means we're that much more likely to run into it because gravity is pulling these two galaxies together. So that's about two, three billion years from now, but it's a really cool finding. Next thing I have for you, speaking of galaxies, this is a really, really uh, old one. In fact, this is a pre-galaxy. That little black spot in the center is what scientists think is a supermassive black hole forming. This is at the edge of, pretty much near the edge of space and time. Uh, 870 million years after the Big Bang. Right now we're 13.7 uh, billion years after the Big Bang. So the further, the further out you look in space, the further back in time you're looking. So this is a really young galaxy. And uh, that's what that spot looks like, by the way, before being super zoomed up like that. And what scientists have found is that black holes form before the galaxy forms. So wrap your head around that. The giant black hole forms before the galaxies all the stars, like this one, the one we live in, supermassive black hole. And that's a really amazing finding, so think about that. Um, I have a link, if you're on the Space Cisco blog, right down there, that'll take you to a post I wrote up about the finding. If you're on the YouTube page, look to your right, click the More Info button, that'll take you there. Uh, and speaking of cool stars and, and black holes and things, this is, um, oops, wrong picture. This is Cassiopeia A. Alright, this is a supernova that's about 1100 light years away. Okay. Pretty standard looking, pretty awesome looking. Well, what scientists have done, they take medical, Im medical imaging technology to, to dissect this thing in three dimensions. Check this out. This is a, the same picture of that supernova in 3D. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing, and I'll match them up for you here. So you can kind of overlap them. And if you look at video, I'll have a video on the uh, blog post. Again, click, look right down there. If you're on YouTube, look to your uh, right there. I have a video showing how they can like turn this thing around. This is just, this blows my mind, I don't know about you, but to look in, at a supernova in three dimensions is just amazing. Um, next thing I have for you, this guy, he's a famous uh, guest on, my, on, on this video cast, as you can tell if you've watched it before. This is Michael Griffin, current NASA administrator. There's been lots of drama about him wanting to stay, um, saying, you know, he, he wouldn't mind staying if Obama wanted him to. Well, he just filed his letter of resignation. So that makes it pretty official that he's going to be leaving January 20th. Although there is a chance still that Obama could tap him as the NASA administrator. But uh, if you've looked around on the internet, again, I'll have a link down there to another post about my vote for the next NASA administrator. Um, I'm not too sure who I, who I would pick if I was Barack Obama, but this guy might be a contender. If, uh, if you don't know who this is, you can uh, click the post. Um, Next thing I have for you guys, these are runaway stars. Okay, check this out. This is what's called a bow shock, which is just tons of like interstellar gas colliding with the solar wind of that star. And these are traveling uh, 150,000 miles an hour. That's just about as fast as the fastest spacecraft uh, mankind has ever sent out into the universe. Um, so that's really cool. These, these were captured by Hubble. There's all kinds of crazy shapes and, and sizes. Just pretty amazing. Another one of those findings that came out of the meeting. And finally, as promised, I have a new version of a space toilet that the Japanese uh, aerospace agency wants to make. Called, you know, they're called JAXA. Check this out. I can't make this up. This is like an underwear style vacuum bidet spacesuit toilet that you wear. I, again, there it is. I can't make it up crazy, and uh, it's true, you know, there, JAXA is going to launch one of these to the space station pretty soon here to test it out, so uh, we can wait for those results. Um, that being said, let's get to your preview for the site. This week, there is a show coming up on Discovery called Mining the Moon that starts January 21st at 10 p.m. Last time I checked, 
Uh, again, if you're on the blog, look below. I'll have a schedule that'll give you the latest time. But I've got a whole package of content for you coming in. Uh, I got a top 10 most surprising uses for the moon. I got an IM interview with somebody about mining the moon. Uh, we have a video, a How Stuff Works article, which is one of our partners. And uh, yeah, the schedule. So be sure and check it out, and thanks for joining me.